Hi, welcome to a new video. In this video, we'll be looking at how to create virtual machines on your Ubuntu workstation the easy way. I've previously done some videos on installing VMware Workstation Player and VirtualBox as a way to create virtual machines on Ubuntu. But there is an easier way that lets you play around with virtual machines on your Ubuntu workstation without too much effort. So introducing GNOME Boxes. Now, GNOME Boxes runs virtual machines much like the other two that I mentioned does. However, the creation of virtual machines in GNOME Boxes is what sets it apart. GNOME Boxes contains a list of existing Linux distributions and you simply select one. GNOME Boxes will then download the ISO image and load it into a VM and start it up for you. And it's easy to install, just takes a couple of commands and a few minutes. So, we'll install it now. So what we need to do is we just need to run two commands. So the first command is going to install GNOME Boxes. It's also going to install Vert Manager, which will allow you to see what's actually going on behind the scenes if you really want to. So we will select this one here. We'll go to our terminal and we will paste that there, run the command. And with that complete, we just need to run one more command. This command will add your current user to the KVM group so we can run virtual machines. So we'll copy it and paste it into our terminal and run that. And at this point, it's worth rebooting your workstation just to make sure all the changes have been made. So I'll just do a quick restart. Now we've restarted and we've logged back in. So at this point, we're ready to cr start creating virtual machines. So we're going to go to our applications, choose boxes, and close the welcome message. Click here and start creating virtual machines. So we'll choose download OS. And our list of Linux distributions will appear. As you can see, there's quite a lot. So we'll pick a simple Debian net install. Now when I click it, no boxes starts downloading the ISO and then it will prepare our VM for us. Now with the download complete, a new dialog pops up with our virtual machine. So we can just accept all of these default settings, click create. and our new virtual machine will be booted. As simple as that. Ready to install. Now, I did say I would install an extra package which will help us see what's going on in the background. So if we go to Applications and Virtual Machine Manager, click File, Add Connection, and choose User Session, click Connect, We'll see Debian testing virtual machine is actually here. We can manage it this way also, but however, managing them in known boxes is a lot easier. So we shut the machine down, click the three dots here, shut down, and that's our virtual machine. So quick more, download OS and pick another ISO image. and start and install. Thanks for watching. I hope that's been really helpful. See you soon.